okay so firstly we'll see the introductions of the aem so first of all aem is nothing but the cms tool so before uh, discussing about the aem we have to discuss the cms so cms is just simple and tool if you want to create a website okay if you want to create a website and manage the content of your website dynamically then you can simply use this cms content management system okay so it's just simple and tool if you want to create a website and if you want to manage the website okay you can easily manage it by using a cms but why we are using it because of see for creating okay so simple for creating a website we have to write a code okay but here when we are when you are using a cms they have provided a gui gui that means a graphical user interface okay so you will see the gui and based on this gui you will create a website okay you can just by using this gui you can create edit and publish the website content okay without writing any uh, code from the scratch okay this is the thing after that we have a lot of cms tools just like a wordpress have you heard about the wordpress okay so we have a wordpress joomla drupal and here at the last we have a aem tool as well okay so aem is just simple and cms tool that is used for creating a dynamic website and website related content but we have to see like when it has introduced okay so it was introduced in 2010 okay why i am saying in 2010 because of see the thing is like we have one name that is cq5 this is nothing but the communiq5 okay and it was introduced by the day software company one company is there that is day software company okay so uh, this is a cq5 that means the communiq and it was introduced by the day software company okay but after sometimes in 2010 in 2010 adobe acquired this day software company okay and they have renamed cq5 to aem that's why i just said like it has introduced in 2010 but no like cq5 it has already there okay but adobe has acquired this aem in 2010 okay and they have renamed the name from cq5 to this aem okay yeah so why aem is too demandable nowadays so basically it's for the authoring the main advantages of the aem is authoring like you have made one website consider one website you have created okay you have created a website and uh, after that once you have created a website after a month you have to change the content of the website that means uh, we have created a dynamic website consider that means when you have created a website here we have a home page and this home page images is changing continuously okay so this is nothing but the dynamic so how this images has changing and if you want to instead of this images or something you want to add the content okay some content you want to add so uh, we can easily add it by using a aem that's called as a content authoring okay so we can easily add and they have already provided a gui that we have already discussed aem is nothing but the cms tool and cms provided gui for uh, for authoring the content simple and another thing it uh, provide a complete solution okay so this adobe marketing cloud adobe marketing cloud it has a uh, eight tools eight tools we have and one of our aem okay campaign just like aem campaign lot of tools we have just eight tools we have okay and this eight tool provide a complete solution to create a revenue generating websites okay so if you want to create a website that means one entire website you want to create like firstly you have created one website but in future every day you have to show the advertisement so for that we have to use the aem target okay so all this thing it has present inside this adobe marketing cloud okay it's provide a flexible environment to content author that we have already discussed like we have a gui that means graphical user interface and after that it will shows all the things like you just have to add simply a content inside that okay and main thing main like for making one website what we need okay so consider this is my website and i want to create it okay but this is just simply an empty template now 
if I want to create a website here for that I just need here header inside that we need a menu bar so these are nothing but the components okay maybe here we have a footer component at the last and here we have a left side left panel okay here we have a title and a description so all these things are nothing but the components only okay so we have to create this component manually but no in AEM they have already provided already provided the components automatically okay when AEM has introduced so with AEM we got a component as well okay and these components are out of the box that means OOTB okay so it helps developer to reduce the effort so like we don't need to write all the components manually now they have already provided so we have a lot of types of component just a foundation components okay and core component we'll see in future but they have provided okay it's easy to learn and integrated with the other uh, other adobe cloud that means i have already told you like we have uh, eight marketing tools okay eight marketing uh, uh, adobe has eight tools okay so your am with integrate with this eight very easily okay after so once you have written the content in your website that means you have created a website consider you have created a website now this website you have to pass to a multiple channels then you can easily do it like this types of tools we have okay and at the last mainly we are using because of this reason see it is drag and drop interface like if you want to make an website see this is the website area and in the left hand side you will see everything like if you want the images here we have a images if you want the components here we have a component you want to see what is uh, what is that inside your website so here we have a content tree so everything we have in the left hand side panel so if you want a component you can simply drag and drop it here okay that's it so this types of in environment it will provide okay so we'll see firstly so when you will open your am you will see this interface okay but before that just come here and in my d drive here i have a am tool see this is the author and here i have a publish so this one is uh, related to a cloud so right now we are using a 6.5.0 version of your am okay so for that we need the jar file make sure that make sure that these are two instances this author and publish are two instances that i'm just going to discuss in a minute okay but uh, here when i'm just double clicking here i have this cq author 4502 this is nothing but jar and this one is our license file so both should be in one folder only so when you will double click first time so it will automatically create this folder okay so here we have a cq cq is nothing but the old name of our am okay and after that here i have a author why because of this is the author instance so that's why here i have written the author and this is nothing but the port number so your author will run on port number 4502 okay so this is the port and this one is a 4502 okay so when i have just click it when i have double click on the jar file so this type of interface it will open okay and uh, once it will open successfully so firstly it, it is showing like okay it is showing like it has opened in this seconds okay so once it will open this interface it will show okay so username and password you have to type admin so once you will hit enter here you see now your am is running on port number 4502 okay so 4502 your am is running okay and after that here again we have a publish instance okay in our am here we have a publish instance as well okay so this one cq and here instead of uh, author here we have a publish the same thing same jar file you have to download and once you will download the jar file simply uh, you have to write like this cq if you want a publish instance you can instead of author you can write publish here and the same thing p port number and 4503 both should not run in the same file okay both both author and the publish instance will not run on the same file that means same port number so you have to change you can make it anything but by default your publish instance will run on port number 4503 and your author instance will run on port number 4502 
and this license file should be present inside this folder okay yeah that's it here come here and here you will see what is our uh, versions of our AEM so when I just click here help and the Adobe experience manager so I can see here 6.5.0 so this is our version okay that's it yeah so now we'll discuss two instances we have now we have discussed the author and the publish so why we use it firstly so this is just simple and platform okay these are nothing but just simple and platform so here inside the author instance you can create your website here we have a lot of concepts in our AEM just like a template component authoring interface that means dialogue okay all this interface if you want to develop or you want to create you can create inside this author instance then what's about the publish okay so publish is just one types of the container okay so once you have created all the stuffs, that means you have created your website okay and you think like it's a finalized that means now this website has done then you can simply publish to this publish environment okay in this in instance so we just simply hold the latest and sta uh, stable content of your website okay so this is the thing about this publish instance here we can create a website pages and manage the content but here no one should do any content changes directly in a publish instances that means here we will not do the content changes whatever content changes we have done in an author instance we can just simply pass to the publish instance that's it it's just simple types of container okay and i have already told you like uh, by default port number that is 4502 and uh, by default port number of the publish that is 4503 if you want you can change so they have provided the configuration manager there we can easily change it but we'll see this thing later okay after that here how our AEM work okay so how our AEM exactly works so first of all now consider here I have a browser okay browser browser send the request firstly your browser will send the request and this request will go to the server okay your request will go to the server that is Apache server okay you can use anything but here we have a Apache server okay and inside that we have one module that is dispatcher okay we have one module that is dispatcher okay and after that dispatcher is just simply used for the load balancing catching and the security purpose we will see this one in future okay so after that once dispatcher see like this request is secure and everything is correct then it will go to your publish instance okay that means we have already discussed like all our latest and stable website changes will store will hold this publish instance okay so whenever request will send so firstly it will go to this dispatcher and after that it will go to this publish but we know that this publish instance we can pass this publish instance through author like firstly we'll create all this thing in this author instance and after that once it will finalize then we can push to this publish okay and after that this publish will host the changes okay so when it will send the request so it will go to the dispatcher then publish then author so it will not go why it will not go inside this author why because all the changes we already have in this publish instance and after that this publish instance will return to this dispatcher and this dispatcher will return to this client okay so here we have so author has sending all the changes to this publish instance and this publish instance that means this is nothing but our server it may be any server and inside that we have one dispatcher module okay and this one is responsible for catching load balancing and the security and after that once it has done we'll show to the visitor that means our end user yeah and inside our author so right now here i have opened this instance okay so here i have opened this one that means right now i am an author okay here right now what i am i am an author so this is the thing it is saying like 
author can change anything inside this author instance okay that's it but main thing we have to see the architecture stack architecture stack mean uh, our architecture of our am so here we have a apache felix okay sorry firstly at the bottom we have a ogi java container okay so inside this layer it will manage all your backend code backend code that means indirectly we can say our java code all our java code will manage by this this open source gateway initiative okay but this ogi is just simple and specification not an implementation so when we have discussed the interface inside this interface like we have only the method not method implementation is it we have only the method not the method implementation so just like the same this ogi is just simple and specification so if you want to provide an implementation for that we have to use this apache felix so this is one type of the server so this is the apache felix and after that here we have a once it will done here we have a uh, apache jackrabbit oak that means jcr repository so this one is the storage layer what does it mean by the storage layer now so when user will add the content to your website so this content this data will store inside your jcr repository so this is nothing but the object database so all your data will store inside this jcr repository so why it is saying like this repository because of it stores the data in the form of repository okay so this is your repository it may be a path and inside that we have something here we have something okay so like that it will store and at the last it will store in the form of nodes okay so these things we'll discuss in later future no issue about this and here we have a apache sling so apache sling that means web application framework so it is a one types of framework and it's a one types of framework and it's a based on the restful api okay it's based on the restful api so it's just simply for the request and the response and at the last here we have a am am is nothing but this one okay so inside that we have project sites assets okay so this asset is nothing but your videos images files folders even anything okay here we have experience fragment this forms form is used for creating a form okay we we have a lot of this thing so this is nothing but your am only okay and uh, here this one is your uh, main point that means uh, this one is your home page of your am but where we can create our backend code sorry not a backend code where developer work exactly so they have provided a crxd okay crxd is just simple and id one types of id just click here inside this tool just go inside this crxd light once you will go inside this crxd light you will see your data will store here only your data will store inside this crxd only and one thing this is nothing but the like id okay id is just nothing but the integrated development environment here you can develop am technologies okay and it's a lightweight why it is a lightweight because it is running on your browser that's why it has lightweight see it is saying like crxd stand for the content repository extreme development environment okay so uh, about this crxd we'll discuss tomorrow like what does uh, what does it mean by the folder structure and the everything okay